Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. So it was completely blown away today to see that we passed and surpassed 25,000 subs on YouTube here. I'm just so thankful. Again, if you didn't see our short video we did, filmed in the middle of Arapaho National Forest. Uh, just wanna say thank you, that's amazing. Never thought we'd get here. Just completely humbled, so thank you for that. If you're new here, or if you haven't subbed yet, go ahead and sub because we post a lot of cool stuff, polls, pictures, behind the scenes stuff, questions, videos, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Also, if you find yourself this week going out there record shopping, especially like an antique store or a thrift store, and you're like, gosh, I've been accumulating so many records, how am I gonna carry this stuff around? Might I suggest the official Recordology record tote? Yes, this is awesome. Featuring, featuring our new logo here. Go on over to our merchandise tab below this video and you can shop for this and other cool Recordology merch as well. Today, we're taking a look at a new set of speakers, which, and again, I didn't dig into it too deep. I didn't do a whole lot of research because I really wanted to experience it in the moment, but the wattage on this would seem to indicate that these are pretty hefty bookshelf speakers that ought to do a really good job as powered speakers for your turntable setup. We're gonna set it up with a turntable and test it out with multiple music genres. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Welcome to Recordology. Pretty much the only thing better than a review video, in my opinion, is a review video that has more than one review. And you may be saying to yourself, what are you talking about? That we're just reviewing speakers because this is a surprise. We have a bonus review at the end of this video for you. Stay tuned for that after we get done reviewing these speakers. These are the S50 active or powered speakers from Abram Tech. And I am unfamiliar with this brand or this product, but I am excited to see what is coming our way. So let's get into it, guys. Let's open this up. By the way, a huge thank you to everybody that joined our recent TikTok Live. And we did two TikTok Lives and a YouTube Live. And it was a lot of fun. A lot of new faces, a lot of new people. And if you weren't a part of that, is he opening this box with a file? Yes, I am, because I couldn't find my knife. And this actually works pretty good. Uh, if you haven't been a part of that and you're like, what, you went live, check out uh, the bell notification. Make sure you've got that selected to all so you don't miss those notifications of when we go live because we do that, we do giveaways. This past uh, video, which I did post, you can watch the replay, that's not always the case, but I, I posted the video. We did some experimenting with TikTok. It was a lot of fun, it was a lot of fun. Another huge thank you for the massive super chat from Toronto, John. Very humbling and I, I'm just, again, thank you my friend, very much appreciated. Thank you to everybody for just being there. It's a lot of fun. We do a lot of cool stuff. Alrighty. So yeah, you packed in this kind of high grade foam. You may be saying, what are you talking about high grade foam? It's, it's a higher grade foam. I can't tell you unless you're holding this, it's a different level foam. We've got these fabric wrapped speaker boxes and I am going to try to get them out. This is always tricky. Oh, they're heavy. They are heavy. That's a good sign. Okay. We've got, uh, wow. Some more accessories, the other speakers. So let me get the rest of this stuff out of the box. We'll take a closer look. Okay, so I did loosen the bottoms of these. Don't peek. I haven't opened them yet. I'm really not even sure what they look like. We're gonna get that moment here in a second. Now, if you're unfamiliar with active speakers or powered speakers, and you may be saying, what is that? Why would you want that? They're basically speakers that have built in amplifiers. So you don't need a receiver, you don't need an amp. You literally can plug in your record player straight into a pair of powered speakers. Abram Tech, deep bass, rich sound, looks promising. Dome tweeter, natural silk titanium film, hourglass inverted hole. And there's a line drawing showing these are the X50s. I think I said S50 earlier. These are the X50s. I'm not sure what this is. I am not sure what that is. I'm sure I'll find out. They include these little silicone or rubberized stick-on feet. And then what do we have in here? I'm assuming, a, okay, power cord. So AC power cord, 
this is this a remote? Okay, it's got a remote control. Very nice, awesome. Well, there's nothing left to do but to do the big reveal. So here we go. Oh, ooh, that's cool. It's a glossy front. Interesting, I wasn't expecting that. And we've got plastic grill over the tweeter there. Look at this. I don't know, is there a dust cap in there? I'll have to look at that. That's really, really cool. Again, here's the uh, other unit, which has the amplifier and the back panel, which will be an interesting thing. There's the ported subwoofer opening. Oh, this is cool. I'm getting really excited. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so there's a close look at the tweeter itself. Again, it does say it's a silk dome tweeter. The faceplate on these is a nice, shiny, high gloss material. The rest of the speaker housing is sort of a textured laminate over wood, I'm presuming, probably a fiberboard material. We've got the ported opening in the back. Okay, so that's a speaker cable. That is a speaker cable. This is right speaker, which is actually kind of uh, nice that they label it so clearly. Interesting to have a cord that has a terminated end on it to connect to speakers instead of just loose speaker cable. That's really, really interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm very intrigued at this point because there's no dust cap or this whole thing is a dust cap. I'm going to touch it. You're not supposed to do this. Interesting. So we got a nice rubber surround there and oh, that's really interesting. So that's a unique, very modern looking. We'll see how it sounds way to do this. I'm very, very intrigued. This is very cool. Okay, I'm getting more and more excited. I love that they include in the booklet here the connections, specifically about connecting your turntable, which is fantastic. Now, if we look further in the manual, let's look at some specs here. What's the wattage? 180 watts total, so 90 watts per speaker with a 230 watt peak. That's pretty dang good. Yep, MDF material a base reflux via rear firing port. We saw that. And in terms of, we can get 103 decibels, 45 hertz to 25,000. That's a pretty respectable speaker from a specification standpoint. Okay, so let's look at the controls and connections on the back here. Um, yeah, we've got an aux input. We've got a phono input. Oh, interesting. So. Yeah, that's really, really, I'm, I mean, I don't know if that's really a line input or if that is truly a phono level input. That's pretty interesting. We've got a pre-out. We've got an optical in, USB, a TV arc, so you can uh, loop in your, your TV sound. Down here is the volume. These are Bluetooth as well. Uh, we've got a bass control right here, the right speaker connect, and then a grounding terminal. So these are really interesting. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to connect our turntable and we're going to listen to these speakers. I'm very, very intrigued at the idea of these having built-in preamp. By the way, it says these are rubber, not silicone. Not that it matters, but yeah. So my initial plan was to use a more modern turntable with a switchable preamp, but to prove to you that I'm not using the built-in preamp. I've got my old Glenburn Changer early 70s here. No, this is not a BSR, separate company, made with pride in the UK, and no built-in preamp. So the only way this is gonna work is if there is, in fact, a built-in preamp in these speakers, as it seems that there is. So that's what we're gonna test. I've got the remote, that's how I'm gonna operate it here, so you can see the controls. Abram Tech. Okay, let's give it a go. We're going to start by powering it on. Let's go ahead and press the phono button. Oh boy, did you see that? That was crazy. All right, I've got some hum here. That's interesting. So let me turn the volume down. Maybe they're just like super, super cranked. Interesting. Did you see that sound pressure? <laughs> Great. It was like Back to the Future, the beginning where the speaker blows out. Okay, so I've got this set to auto. So what we're gonna do is just test this as is. I did confirm, by the way, those pre-outs, stereo pre-out RCA connections are for the sub. If you are running an external sub, not included with this. 
but because this is just a review of the speakers, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to review it. I'm not going to listen to them right now with the sub. I just want to hear them out of the box, how they are. So here we go. The old Glenburn runs a tad bit fast. This is a record store day 2022 Madonna release. So I got to be kind of selective with, you know, how much music I can actually use. First impression is they sound rich, they sound full. And if I touch this tone arm, I get a little bit of feedback. But so far I'm impressed, they sound good. We're gonna listen to pop, we're going to listen to jazz, we're gonna listen to rock as well. And this is gonna be tough not being able, you know, to listen to that much audio and share it with you, but I'm gonna share as much as I can. Seem very full range. I do like that, very full range. I can use more of this music. This is uh, Elitch Gardens Jazz at the Truck, a local Denver record here. So I should be able to use more of this sound. So far, they sound good, they sound really good. <laughs> take some additional listening but I wanted to give it a once over and kind of see what this was like at the outset it's going to take days if not weeks to kind of burn these in and give them a thorough listen really just giving my first impression now all right now some rock music okay, this is going to be status quo on the vertigo label and yeah, I'm excited to hear how this sounds as well. You know, I changed my mind about the Bluetooth. I do want to test that. So stay tuned for a Bluetooth test as well. But here's some rock and roll. Yeah, they sound great. I mean, it's sharp, it's punchy, it's powerful. I hear clear highs, mids and low end. I would say if there's any lacking spectrum of sound, it would be maybe a tad bit in the mid, seem a little flat, but it's got good bass response. They're sharp. They have accurate sound reproduction. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with these. <laughs> Some stuff. One more track for status quo here, and then we'll move on to the Bluetooth test. That was a brutal drop. I don't know why this thing is dropping like a ton of bricks right now. Okay, I've got this thing paired with my phone. As you can see there, it came up as Abram Tech X50. And we're just going to give this a little bit of a sound test. Over Bluetooth again, ambiently, you're just gonna hear it as I am, but let's uh, let's hear how it sounds on Bluetooth. Wow, that was very clear. Dang, I wish I could play more. Very, very, very clear. Okay, let's play a little of uh, Patsy Cline. One more, I'm just getting, run I'm running away with 
myself here. I do my hair toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feel? Good. It's got a good bass sound. It doesn't seem to roll off the bass. It seems to really handle it and push it through. Now, do you remember when I mentioned the optical input? That is huge because that means if you have a CD player or a transport or any digital audio device with an optical out, you can run that fiber optic cable right into here and that will, does that spring open? Nice. Usually those caps pop off. This one is like a on a hinge. That means that you can send pure digital audio that hasn't run through a DAC into this and this unit has a built-in DAC. But so far, I can tell you that these sound good. They sound full, they sound clear, they sound very rich. So yeah, I think these are uh, two thumbs up. Okay, okay, one more, one more, you guys. This is with the bass cranked and it does make a big difference. Before, we were listening to bass at 50%, but here it is with the bass cranked. Again, just a little sample here. So yeah, there is definitely a noticeable change from 50% bass to 100%. Okay, bonus review, guys. CD here, this is from the Bear Family Records Group in Germany. If you remember, we recently reviewed their Patsy Klein CD, which is absolutely amazing. This obviously is Rosemary Clooney, the Velvet Lounge. And I'm really looking forward to listening to this disc. Comes in a digipack, which is cool, featuring Perez Prado. This album was an original issue, and this would be a reissue. An absolutely gorgeous CD. I love, I love the artwork. I love all of the trouble they go to to not only get the packaging right, but to really give you a product with fantastic, fantastic sound quality. This has an awesome booklet with pictures and information. Just like the Patsy Klein release is, you know, top drawer, absolutely top notch. I'm super excited to give this a listen. And if you would like to as well, check out the link in the description below and check out some of the other titles that Bear Family Records has. I know a lot of you have told me that you've got their CDs in the past and have been very happy with them. So I thought we would take a look at another one here, A Touch of Tabasco with Rosemary Clooney and Perez Prado. I love doing speaker reviews. It's a lot of fun. I can see now why there's channels dedicated to speaker reviews. If you wanna snag these speakers, link in the description down below. But mostly I just wanna say thank you for being there. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, being a part of this amazing family that you guys have built and put together. I just wanna really and honestly say thank you. It's been awesome. And we got a lot more fun stuff coming your way that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. Some fun goodies and surprises throughout the week. Shows on Wednesday, a nation show on Friday, and we'll be back next weekend with another show as well. That you're not going to want to miss. But my friends, that's going to do it for today. So let me say this. Happy record hunting, and we will see you next time.